channel today we are looking at Sidus space and today the stock is up 1.18 percent and uh, trading at six dollars 23 cents earlier today the stock was way way higher up uh, but it has slowly trended downward so uh, we don't know if there's going to be a reversal here uh, you can see as evidence that the volume today went up by quite a bit uh, 13 million shares so far that have exchanged hands compared to an average volume of 5 million shares. The market capitalization for Sidus Space is now at $114 million. So if you guys remember, let me go to the 5-day graph. Uh, you guys can see right here on the 5-day graph uh, how Sidus Space has fared over the past 5 days. And uh, the news was uh, came out that on the 15th of June that Saidu Space uh, was chosen as one of the contractors on NASA's 3.5 billion dollar exploration extravehicular activity services contract, and of course that sent uh, the stock valuation of uh, Saidu Space to the moon. It was just off the charts as you guys can see here uh, on the 14th of uh, June Saidu space was trading at about a dollar 42 cents and of course today you guys can see that it's trading at six dollars 29 cents but uh, by the 16th of uh, June the stock was trading at close to eight dollars and uh, it just dropped you know over the past two sessions to where it is today at six dollars 30 cents 52 week range for this uh, stock is from $1.26 all the way up to $29.70. So we still have a lot of headroom for Saidu Space to grow. Uh, the good thing is at least it's not in the red. So that's always a good thing. But the very high volume that we saw this morning, I think it's a lot of people who have uh, maybe some insight, some additional information who are buying into the stock. And then uh, typically with stuff like this, after that announcement, you know, you go out about a month, people forget about Saidu space, but then the stock just keeps growing slowly in the background. So uh, about now is just the appropriate time to buy into Saidu space if you are interested in this stock and then you just hold it and, uh, you know, forget about it, come back after six months because uh, the NASA contract is going to be a long term multi-year kind of deal so it's not just uh, one company and a one-off deal it's a whole slew of uh, contractors who will be doing working on different aspects of uh, the nasa exploration extravehicular activity services contract now sidu space is a space as a service company and it is based out of uh, merit island in and the company has 37 employees so that is pretty much uh, a brief uh, picture of what Saidu space is and what they do so of course uh, Florida Cape Canaveral that's where you would have uh, <laughs> like uh, major launches in the United States you know they take place out there uh, SpaceX has a their own uh, launch pad out in Texas uh, but of course uh, launches would typically be on a west coast and uh, with a large body of water water to the west of the launch uh, to the east of the launch site because uh, launches are done usually, usually with the rockets you know heading towards uh, the east so that's what we have uh, today to talk about concerning Sidus space and I think that this is just a very good and golden opportunity to load up on uh, Saidu space. I have begun noticing that many stocks are trading sideways. Uh, it's been about maybe three, four days now, four sessions that I've noticed that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be sustainable, but the feds came out strongly last week and uh, you know adjusted the interest rate. That way the inflation can start being reined in. Uh, also, President Joe Biden is heading out to the Middle East I think to renegotiate uh, you know US oil imports from the Middle East and that will also uh, ease the pain of co uh, consumers at the pump so 
that is uh, a brief picture of the economy as we stand today, uh, this June 21st, uh, summer solstice, first day of summer. And uh, we will see where the market heads this summer. It's going to be one for the, uh, for the history books, irrespective, because uh, it's one of those, uh, you know, like 2008. I think it's almost going to be the same this year. Uh, the housing market is still not touched yet, but the ramification of what's happening in the greater economy will ultimately trickle down and uh, with all those people losing their jobs high high paying jobs with the tech companies uh, i think we will uh, see some effect in case very strong and drastic measures are not taken to uh, correct the economy by the powers that be we are seeing about one or two subscribers new subscribers every day uh, we hope to increase that number so if you haven't yet done so, please consider uh, subscribing to the uh, channel. Smash that subscribe button. That way we keep growing and uh, hit our target of a thousand subscribers, which we set for ourselves by the midterm elections in November. Thanks for your time. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.